All right, hello everybody. Good morning everybody and welcome to the Dr. Walter Sims Show. I'm excited to have the Flemings on my show today. And listen, I just want to take just a quick second to let you know I appreciate uh, your followership. You were with me when I was on Saturday mornings. Now you're with me uh, that I'm on Sunday mornings at 7.30 a.m. Central Standard Time here on Fox 34. And I need your help. I need sponsors. I need advertisers. I need people that want their voice heard to contact me and uh, book a time where you can be on my show. It is open to anybody doing anything that's gonna motivate, empower, inspire uh, men, women, boys and girls of all ages. And I love you and our show is getting fabulous ratings and it's because of you. There's no me without you and I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Big Mama always said, when people do nice things for you, tell them thank you. And I wanna tell you thank you today. I really appreciate you. Well, Dr. Sims, if I wanted to get in touch with you, how would I do that? Email me at the Dr. Walter Sims Show at gmail.com. Call me at 205-225-9757 or Go to my fan page, facebook.com slash the Dr. Walter Sam Show, and get in touch with me. Well, y'all sit back, hold tight, and Apostle Fleming and Dr. Prophetess Fleming are on their way, and they will be on the show in just a few seconds. Is that all right? Well, listen, y'all hold tight, and we'll be right back. <laughs> For all of your health care needs, go to Health Concepts, located at 1901 Wise Drive here in Dothan, Alabama. Their hours are Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. And on Saturdays from 10 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. And they're closed on Sunday. Listen, when you get over there, when you go get some of that alkaline water, the best water in the wild grass, will you please tell them Dr. Sim sent you? I'm Jessica. I'm just going to let everybody know that we all love the Dr. Walter Sims Show. For all your family dentistry needs, go see my friends over at Dantridge Dental Family Dentistry. Dr. Michelle Dandridge and Stella Ferry will be glad to service you. They are located at 1435 Ross Clark Circle, Suite A, here in Dothan, Alabama. They are located on the south side of the circle near Southern Bone and Joint. You can call them at 334-699-2220. And when you get there, tell them, Dr. Dr. Sam sent you. We want to talk about um, how the ministry got started. Baby, can you tell us a little bit how the ministry got started? Amen. Uh, we are, we are One Voice Ministries Incorporated. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And again, I'm Apostle Daria Fleming, pastor and founder, and this is my lovely wife. Mm -hmm. uh, Prophetess Tarma Fleming. And so, um, well, we got started through um, great um, tribulation and, and prayer. I mean, we, we, we've been through a lot, and, and this is not the format for that. But, you know, ministry is just like marriage, just pray through. Mm -hmm. and, and so we were, we were asking God what was it. He had brought us together, so we wanted to know what was the reason for bringing together. Right, because we started outreach first. That's right, because right, mm -hmm. everything God does, He has a reason behind it. Mm -hmm. We don't have a reason, He has a reason. So when he, we established us together, we started outreach. Mm -hmm. And so we were in outreach for about five and a half, six years right. almost. And in 2006, uh, uh, we got the call. The Lord spoke to our hearts and said, establish One Voice mm -hmm. Ministries. And that's when we started the full outreach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, not until 2013 mm -hmm. is when God spoke to my wife's spirit and gave her confirmation that we were to establish the house of God. Right, actually, we were traveling from somewhere. We were traveling from and Texas. I mean, I was Texas, fighting a tooth and nail because I love outreach ministry. I love traveling and ministering. We were traveling to Texas and New York, yeah. different places, mm -hmm. all over just um, ministering the Word of God. We were putting on um, leadership conferences, mm -hmm. and God was just using us in a mighty way. And I love that freedom. And so when my husband was said, you know, God is calling us to pastor, I was like, oh no, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to do that because you got to stay still, you know, you don't have the freedom. And, um, you know, in outreach, you go to different ministries and you give them the word of God and it's on the pastor to develop them. 
So now we we have to give the word of God and have the responsibility of making sure that they're applying the word of God to their lives, it, developing the people of God, making disciples. And um, I didn't want to do that part. I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to be still. I didn't want to have to be home every Sunday for church. Um, but I could not deny what God was saying. And I think we were traveling from somewhere, and I Texas. said, Texas, okay. And um, and I think I said, baby, um, yeah, you yeah. ready to pastor? And, I, and <laughs> as she was saying that, I was sitting on the passenger side. I looked at her, and I just kind of leaned away, just waiting for the second confirmation because sometimes a person to say they understand what you're saying but really don't understand it so I just waited and a few more miles down the road she turned to me again and said baby I hear the Lord say it's time to start the church I said I was like, thank you Lord I, that's confirmation and so we, we began from there and we were already established we just hadn't established um, the church aspect of mm -hmm. it, you know, the house of God aspect. So you we know, already uh, And I ministry. admire him for waiting on confirmation because I think we have to be in agreement yeah, as, as man and wife. We have definitely. to be in agreement to go forth in the work together. Amen. Not Amen. that God was telling me it's time. It was just confirmation. He was just right. waiting on me to hear from the Lord to be okay with that. Right. And uh, because I wasn't okay with it at yeah. first. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's important that we be in agreement with each other and and, right. and that's what the confirmation was, just yeah. to be in agreement. And, right, and, and agreement comes to allowing God to, to cause you to walk after something when you don't fully understand it, mm -hmm. but you trust him enough mm -hmm. that you know that he will answer your question. Come on, come on. Come and on. so what happens is when, when God give you a vision, you, you write the vision down mm -hmm. and you make it plain. And mm -hmm. the Bible says, so when others see it, they will run with it. So, so God gave me the vision. And so he spoke this ministry into our our lives, but first through his head. And so I related to her. And so when God showed it to her, she was ready to run with it. Mm -hmm. See, see, I can give you a piece of paper and tell you to read this, but if I don't help you understand what you're reading, then it's it's kind of a moot point. So what God did was he he, he allowed me to speak the vision to her, mm -hmm. and then he showed him her showed her the vision himself. Amen. 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 So you know, so we've been in we've been in ministry for some time. And if you want to get contact us, you can contact us at, contact us at One Voice Ministries Incorporated, 302 P.O. Box 302, Dothan, Alabama 36302. And you can call us at 334-435-8927. And we also have a ministry page on Facebook. You can catch us at One Voice Fleming on um, Facebook. Um, you can contact us through my Facebook page, Tarma Lachey Fleming and Dario Dean Fleming on his Facebook page. And we got Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff too. <laughs> Follow us on all that. It's so hard to keep up with all this social media stuff, but we know it's necessary. Um, but please come and join us. We have service on um, Sunday mornings at 9:30. Um, we have Bible study on Thursdays at 7 p.m. You can also call in. You don't have to show up on location. That's you right. can also show call in for the Bible study. And on Wednesday morning, we just started this May 4th at 5 o'clock a.m. I will be praying with you. So you can call Amen. in for prayer. It's, it's called Prophetic Morning Prayer. And it's prophetic in that I really <laughs> endeavor to seek the Lord to for a rhema word for whoever will be on the line. And so I share a little bit and then we seal it in prayer. Hey, that 13, um, the, excuse me, not the 13, <laughs> the Thursday evening conference call, that number is 712-432-1500. Mm -hmm. And the code is 689-619. And you guys get on there. And, and listen, we're open. Our Bible study is question-oriented. You know, mm -hmm. I, I can teach all day. But if I don't know what's in you, I don't know what to apply to you. And we know that we're led by the Holy Spirit. But I can tell you a scripture where God told the man of God, the man of God told the other man of God that God hid this thing from him. Mm -hmm. So there's some things that God just not going to tell me because he wants you to say it. So if you um, trust God enough to, to reveal what the trouble is, God will be more, more proud to show you he's a, he's a solver of many problems.
Hey, if you need to ship something in a hurry, go see my friends at Safe Ship, located at 2371 Murphy Mill Road, unit number eight here in Dothan, Alabama. They will make sure that it is packaged just right so nothing will be damaged between here and there. Listen, they are open from 9 a.m. to 6 o'clock p.m. Monday through Friday, and they close a little early on Saturday at 3 o'clock p.m. M. Listen, if you need to contact them, dial 334-677-SHIP. That's 334-677-7447. And when you get there, tell them Dr. Sam sent you. Don't forget to watch the Dr. Walter Sims Show every Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m. Central Standard Time on Fox 34. Hey, we're back with the Dr. Walter Sims Show. Um, baby, when we left on the last segment, we was talking about ministry mm -hmm. and um, in ministry, there must be a vision. Talk, let's talk about the vision. Tell us about some of the things God is doing with you. Well, for me, um, as part of One Voice Ministry, um, God has led me to um, finally um, go forth and do my EP, my album. Um, I had an album years ago, years ago, and I released a single in 2012 called Crazy Praise, produced by none other than Napoleon Barnes Jr. I love him, I love him. Um, but God has blessed me to work with Hidden Place Productions with um, P. Neely, Paul Neal, he's from here, but he lives in Atlanta now, okay. Stella nominated producer, and um, also the incredible J.J. Evans. He's all over the world, he's everywhere, but um, he has albums as well. Um, and he's the vocal producer, and they're a great team, and I've just been upgraded, man. I tell you, I have been upgraded. Um, it's been an awesome time. Um, and doing this, it's just been a really a spiritual journey for me because um, we really take time to uh, talk about what's in my heart and really pray about what the songs, the lyrics of the songs will be. And um, we really want to minister to the people of God. And so um, I'm very vulnerable in this one <laughs> because it's my heart, it's my yeah. testimony. Um, but literally, I have really been upgraded, um, even in my singing. Um, God has just blessed me with great producers. So I'm working on my EP. Um, I, I know people are asking me when the next play, um, and I've, I've got it halfway written. Um, but the Lord is telling me not to put so much on my plate right now because just to focus on one thing. So I'm focusing on the EP, and I'm also focusing on a book I've been written about my life, um, my testimony, and um, hopefully I'll have that done by the end of this month. Um, so just working on the album, working on the book, got the play in motion, but not really focusing on it right now. Uh, yeah. We also did a movie together. Right, we have a yes. movie um, coming out pretty soon. It's called Discovering the Pearl Within, Part Two, mm -hmm. where my wife, you know, she's one of the main stars. I, I co star. star. Okay. So, but I want to plug um, Pastor Javon's good work, um, mm -hmm. Journey. Journey, yes. Journey. That was this also, is also by Hidden Place. Right, this yes. is also by Hidden Place. Paul Neal and J.J. Evans yes. uh, helped him with this. Um, and so this album is out already. Right. And it's called Journey. The Journey, the yeah, journey. and it's awesome. Amen. It's awesome. Amen. And um, Hidden Place Production, Paul is also working with Alexis Sierra. Yeah. A project will be coming out soon. So Amen. I'm excited. I'm excited. I mean, I've, right. I've been among stars and, <laughs> so I see it and if you if you uh, and those of you that are watching if you've seen my face before here on with Dr. Walter Sim show mm -hmm. it's because of my first book Divide and Conquer Satan and Religion mm -hmm. that is in the bookstores now yes on um, Barnes and Noble you can get it at Barnes and Noble I'm gonna have another book signing in August because I have another upcoming book, The Spirit in Pink, and uh, I'm going to let you dwell on that. It's also so, on Amazon, Amazon, Amazon any, any digital social media outlets. E-book, e yeah. E-book, yeah. You yeah. get on e-book as well. So we, you know, we want you to understand that the vision for One Voice, and, and we talked a lot about what God is doing for our lives, but let's, let's, let's be more direct. One Voice is to develop leadership. Mm -hmm. great leadership in the body of Christ, to help men and women recognize their purpose in the body of Christ, and to help them get to that place, whether it be platform ministry, or just praise and worship leader, or a deacon, or, or um, a, a minister, whatever, whatever God has called you, your passion must be your purpose. Don't just be passionate about anything, be passionate about your purpose. And One Voice Ministry is passionate about your purpose. And Amen. we thank God for you.
Amen. Don't forget to watch the Dr. Walter Sims Show every Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m. Central Standard Time on Fox 34. Dr. Fleming, you know, we that have been churched so much, we always say that God is a healer, God is a deliverer, God is our savior. Mm -hmm. what, what does that even mean to you? Well, Dr. Sims, I'm telling you, I know God in every way possible. I know him as a provider, a healer, as my peace. I mean, my protector, my deliverer, my mind regulator. I know God, I mean, I have a thousand stories for you. Um, I'll just start though um, with knowing God as a healer. Um, as a young child, when I was um, maybe seven or eight years old, and I ended up having a stomach condition called gastroenteritis. And um, at that time, I was going to Sunday school with my, my grandmother, and one day at a um, uh, tent, tent revival, my grandmother took me under that tent, and I believe that's when the Lord touched me, because I went through an experience I can't explain. I didn't even want to go to school the next day, because as a young child, and you're shouting, and your hands going up, and you're like, you don't even understand what was going on with you. But the Lord touched me and healed my body of that gastroenteritis. I had to go all the way to Columbus, Georgia as a child and stay in the hospital for a month for that condition. It's just a long word for stomach virus. I don't know how I got it. I went to Florida um, and something happened and um, so I had this stomach condition but God touched me and when God touched me I never had that condition again. And then on down, when I was 23 years old, I just had come out of college. I just had started um, working at Sparks Technical College in Ufala as a GED instructor. Um, I went just for a, a normal um, pap smear. And um, the doctor told me, said, hey, come in. We got to talk to you. And she looked at me. She said, um, you have cancer. And I said, what? She said, you got cancer. And I just sat there thinking in my head, okay, wait a minute, I'm 23. I just got started with my life. I don't, I'm not married. I don't have any children. What do you mean I have cancer? And she said, you heard what I said, right? And I said, yeah, I heard what you said, but I don't receive that. The devil is a lie. I don't receive it. I had just got saved and I was on fire. And I was like, I'm not going to receive that word. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have cancer. Um, so I called up one of my spiritual godmothers, um, uh, prophetess Nellie Hendricks, and she's from um, Louisville, Alabama. She attends Revival for Lost Souls Church. She's um, one of the assistant um, ministers there. And I called her and I was crying. I think I cried just a little bit, but I, I didn't want to cry because I, I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to fully accept it. And I told her, I said, um, you know, the doctor says I have cancer and um, they might have star chemo for me. And um, she said, oh, the devil is a lie. And she came over to my house and she brought the prayer warriors there. I mean, and we prayed and we prayed and we prayed and then we prayed some more. And then one more time and one more again. <laughs> we prayed and prayed and prayed. Amen. And when I went back to the doctor, um, they were holding up the pictures and they kept going, where is it? Where is it? I don't see it. I don't see it. And I was like, you don't see it because God mm -hmm. healed me. <laughs> All right now. God All right me. now. I'm telling you, God healed me of cancer. And I'm telling you, I have not had an abnormal pap smear since that day. Oh, praise God. God truly healed me of cancer. I didn't have to do any chemo. I didn't lose my hair or anything like that. I know I wear weed, but I got some hair. I got long hair. <laughs> but God healed me of cancer. And I mean, I have the doctor's records to prove it, that I had it, and now it's gone. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't forget to watch the Dr. Walter Sims Show every Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m. Central Standard Time on Fox 34. Welcome back, everybody, to the Dr. Walter Sims Show. And you guys heard me talk about when I met my husband, I was really in a painful place. I had just went through a divorce and I was really in a painful place. Um, I had so many voices in my ear um, telling me what I should do and how I should live my life. And I just didn't know what God wanted me to do. I was really angry with God. And I want to speak to you concerning that. I know that some of you have might have been through a lot of trauma or pain or abuse. And you may feel like, you know, I'm so angry with God. I don't know, you know, what I'm going to do. Um, 
I remember saying to God that I'm not going to preach, I'm not going to prophesy, I'm not going to sing. Don't ask me to do anything. And you heard me say God took me to, to Texas. Well, God took me to Texas to bring me back to my original intent, to my original purpose, so that I could just get along with him and hear his voice. And then he sent along my husband to really activate the woman of God that was in me, to pray me through that situation. Um, and I just want to minister to you to let you know that God loves you. God loves you and his, his thoughts towards you are not to harm you, but to prosper you, to bring you to an expected end. We all have a purpose. We ha God has a plan for our lives. And sometimes we have to go through painful things to, to be the woman of God, to be that strong person, to be that warrior that God has called us to be. I know I've been on a 21-day um, detox spirit, soul, and body, spiritual journey. And God has really been going into the secret places of my heart and just really, really speaking to the little girl in me that was abused, speaking to the woman in me that was hurt by so many relationships, even hurt um, through church hurt and different people in my life. God has been speaking to me and just removing anything that's toxic in my life. He's been healing anything that's been toxic to me. And I know that God loves perfect love my God, perfect love casts out all fear. And the root of every woman's tra traumatic experience or abusive um, experience is fear. We, we come out in fear. We, we, we try to control everything around us. We want to secure everything around us. Because, hey, when Eve came, she was secure. She had everything she needed. She had her man. She had all her clothes. And she had all the food. Anything she needed, she, she was secure. So whenever we are damaged or hurt, whenever we are tra uh, traumatized, we become insecure because things are not in place as they should be. And so we try to control our surroundings. We try to control everybody and everything around us because we're insecure. We're not secure and we're afraid. But the Bible says perfect love casts out all fear. And we have to really, really, really accept the love of Jesus Christ and know that he loves us unconditionally and he loves us eternally. And there's nothing he would not do for us. There's no good thing that he would withhold from us. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. God loves us so much. And so the Bible says to cast all our care upon him for he careth for us. And so all we have to do is go to the Lord in prayer. I mean, I can't tell you how important it is to pray, to seek God with your whole heart, mind, soul, and strength, and let him deal with those secret things in your heart. Let him mend those broken places in your heart. Let him shower you and overwhelm you with his love because that's all he wants to do is love you and bring you to that expected end. So I, I hope um, that you have been blessed today by um, Dr. Walter Sims' show. <laughs> I love him. He's such an awesome man of God. Um, I love you. And if I can do anything to serve you, to help you, please call us. The number again is 334-435-8927. God bless you. Don't forget to watch the Dr. Walter Sims Show every Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m. Central Standard Time on Fox 34. Hello everybody, this is Dr. Walter Sims. I'm the Minister of Motivation. One of my friends asked me the other day, Dr. Sims, how do you stay so motivated, so positive, so high on life? It's like you're on drugs. I said, well, I'll share my secret with you if you promise you won't tell anybody. And I'm gonna share with you today because you're one of my followers, you're one of my subscribers, and you've been checking me out on a regular basis, so I'll share my secret with you as well. The Bible lets us know that we should be careful for nothing. Another translation says we should not be anxious without a cause, without a reason. One of the things I'm high on is not being anxious. When you have fear, and some of you have fear right now, when you have fear, fear makes something into something when there's nothing. 
Fear would make a molehill look like a mountain. Fear would make a pussycat look like a lion. Fear would make a cocker spaniel look like a rockwilder. What fear does, fear uh, makes you just create something in your mind that's not even real. Some of you right now sleep with the light on, and I know you're chuckling because you're like, oh my goodness. Some of us sleep with the light on, why? Because we're afraid of the unknown. When you shut the light out, it goes dark and, and, and voices come to you and say, oh, there's something under bed, there's something in the closet. Come on now, there's no, nothing under your bed and nothing in your closet. Well, we hope not. <laughs> All right. Well, well, Dr. Sims, what, what's a remedy? What's a remedy, Dr. Sims? Well, you have to replace fear with faith. Faith is that thing that you can put your arms around. Uh, uh, faith is, is believing in something when there's no evidence. See, fear makes all of these things out of, uh, into something that's nothing. But what faith does, faith will make a mountain look like a molehill. Faith will make that lion look like a pussycat. And faith will make that Doberman pincher look like a poodle. And so my challenge for you today is, you must increase your faith. You must begin to understand that everything is going to be all right. I know sometimes it, it doesn't look good on paper, but I'm here to tell you right now, it's going to be all right. Another one of my favorite phrases in the Bible simply says, and this too shall pass. So whatever you're going through right now, just calm down, take a deep breath, and remember Everything is going to be all right. Hey, listen, guys, it's been Dr. Walter Sims. I am the Minister of Motivation. And remember, if you stay high on life, life is going to stay high on you. Don't forget to watch the Dr. Walter Sims Show every Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m. Central Standard Time on Fox 34. Hey, if you need to ship something in a hurry, go see my friends at Safe Ship, located at 2371 Murphy Mill Road, unit number eight here in Dothan, Alabama. They will make sure that it is packaged just right so nothing will be damaged between here and there. Listen, they're open from 9 a.m. to 6 o'clock p.m. Monday through Friday, and they close a little early on Saturday at 3 o'clock p.m. Listen, if you need to contact them, dial 334-677-SHIP. That's 334-677-7447. And when you get there, tell them Dr. Sims sent you. We would like to thank our guests for appearing on the Dr. Walter Sims Show this morning. If you would like to advertise with us, become a sponsor, or even be a guest on our show, please contact our office at 205-225-9757. Or send an email to the Dr. Walter Sims Show at gmail.com. The Dr. That's Dr. Walter Sims Show at gmail.com. Again, thank you for tuning in. May God richly bless you, and we will see you again next week.